What's going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. We're over here at La Jolla. I uh, went to high school here back in the day, back in 19... Yeah. This was my high school. I went to school here... Woo! 26 years ago. And right there was my ninth grade history class. Here's our auditorium. And this is where I took automotive class. Didn't really learn much, but we had a lot of fun. Back in high school, back in 1992, 93, this is where I had my first carne asada burrito. It used to be a taco shop. Man, it was dang good too. What's up you guys here doing front and rear pads on my niece's Kia Forte 2016 uh, she said she was told she needed front and rear pads because they were getting thin and um, here we go we're gonna have at it so once the car is in the air you're ready to zap the wheels off um, you could also start checking to see if the brake fluid reservoir is filled up. If it's filled up all the way, you're gonna to have to take some out because when you compress the pistons back in to put room for the brake pads, it's gonna overflow and that's gonna be extra work to have to clean up. And I have the wheels off. I was gonna do it by hand, but since I do have a compressor, I went ahead and fired it up. So right here we have your normal looking disc brake setup in the front and in the back so make sure you have the e-brake released or else it's not going to be fun trying to remove that caliper so to remove this caliper it takes a 14 millimeter socket or you could use a wrench but socket is better so you'll six point socket so you won't round off the the caliper bolt. I'm gonna do the bottom first. Came right off. These are the bolts. You just swing the caliper up and pull it out. Here's the caliper pins. You want to make sure that's lubricated pretty good. Normally I like cleaning it off and then relubing it with non-petroleum based grease. If you use petroleum based grease, what what happens is it swells up the the, the rubber components and that'll cause the caliber pins to not slide well and even get stuck.
the new ones compared to the old ones. And usually to compress the rear calipers, you need a tool to spin it in and you'll apply pressure inwards and that should bring the piston back in. One thing I forgot to mention, as far as installing the brakes, either way will work, but there is a correct way. You see with the sensor, you always want the sensor to meet with the rotation of the rotor right away. So basically if your caliper was positioned this way, you want the sensor at the bottom because it's going to rotate this way. Everything going smooth on this road to, ooh, uh, Skyline GTR. Ooh, the license plate says Sayonara. Oh, GTR, yeah, Sayonara. Got some, got an 8.6. Ooh, this is a cool neighborhood. And we're back. Took it on a nice two mile road test through the neighborhood. Saw some cool cars, and yeah, that was it. We're good to go.